know which side I'm gonna get tonight. And the closer we get, the less I think I know who you put you to. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create the mass trip transition effect within the DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio version. Unfortunately, the free version does not include Magic Mask tool, but despite of that, you will be able to recreate this effect in color page in Power Window. You will find in Power Window all masking and tracking tools needed to recreate this amazing transition. So let's jump into Edit page and let's start creating. Nice effect! And if you want to learn how to do this kind of effect, just uh, follow today's tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do mask sweep transition effect in DaVinci Resolve 17, but unfortunately only in studio version. Uh, this is due to a reason that uh, Magic Mask tool is available in uh, studio version only, and uh, free version uh, don't have this tool unfortunately so let's get started and let's open media pool let's grab this uh, video clip that we're gonna use today so you can see here uh, there is a girl that uh, she's pouring a tea in a cup and you can see that this clip was already tempered with the speed so let's uh, decrease or let's say put the speed into the normal so let's press ctrl r and let's decrease duration and also we're gonna change the speed of the clip so we will normalize the speed of this clip so you can see it here that's uh, the normal speed of this clip so if you extend it it's slower if you are uh, decreasing uh, the, the length of the speed you are basically put the speed in the normal or you can increase speed uh, in some cases so let's hide this tool speed change tool with ctrl r just press it on it and now we have to pinpoint the, the point that we would like to cut it so somewhere here when the, uh, this lady starts to drink uh, her tea so let's highlight the video clip uh, press ctrl b and we have cut the first part just drag this playhead ahead a little bit so you can see here that she stops drinking so let's put it the second cut here ctrl b and we have this cut out here so let's press alt and drag the copy on the right hand side of uh, the video clip on the video layer one so let's go back to this cutout right click on it and just create new fusion clip put the play hat in the beginning highlight the clip and let's jump to fusion page in fusion page you can see media in and media out so if you want to move it like with a hand just use the scroll wheel just press down and move it around now you can see media in here we have highlighted this media in node and we're gonna use this uh, bar here that we have all most frequently used tools so let's press to transform a node here and uh, let's go to inspector in inspector it we can find all the tools needed for this transform or even more for some other uh, things that we can do with transform node so we're gonna use today edges we're gonna change uh, canvas to wrap y because we're gonna change the background uh, for this clip, we're gonna move the background left or right, but we need some additional tiles here. So we're gonna change it to wrap. You can see immediately that we have additional tiles from the left and from the right. Let's put it back to 0.51 and let's put the playhead to the beginning uh, and keyframe it here. Go to the last one to 45 to frame 45 and let's change to the left or to the right if you go to the right is plus if you go to the left is minus so we're gonna change it here minus 2.5 uh, be aware that we have to change it here not on the first uh, uh, keyframe but on the last one so let's play it through that we're gonna see what's happening 
so you can see that it's quite slow so if we if we go back to node 2 or we can even use this button here just to go to the last one and if we increase this we, we would like to increase the speed just go minus let's say uh, 6.5 and now the background is gonna really uh, go fast very fast so we can leave it like like this uh, or we can decrease back to uh, minus uh, 2.5 so let's stay here and let's jump into settings we can go to motion blur just increase the quality you can put it to 10 or you can just decrease it like 8 7 but in this case we're gonna put it to 10 uh, you have here shutter angle and we're gonna just drag it to the end so 360 and we can play it through to see now so you can see that it's smoother uh, you can't see anymore the who is the person in, in this case so it's very fast uh, and can't be seen so one more thing so we're gonna jump back to transform node uh, just highlight it uh, press shift and spacebar this way we're gonna get selected tools uh, menu and we're gonna go with directional blur uh, just put it in and let's highlight directional blur and we're gonna increase the length so if you go right so the background should go from left to right but because we went like minus we went from right to left we're gonna use also minus here so let's play it through so let's jump back to edit page just put the copy of this clip on the top just put the playhead in the middle and highlight it and jump to uh, our color page in color page in studio version you can find this magic mask that I have talked about on the beginning let's go to uh, magic mask first thing you just click on toggle mask overlay that you will be able able to see the mask that is overlaid over the, the subject and just uh, just draw a line through this subject and you're gonna see this reddish overlay and now we're gonna track this subject here so you saw that we don't have any issues but still there is because it's not the person it's just a subject additional we have this uh, hot water uh, bottle here and we have also the cup so let's go and go and track this back we're gonna see if there is any issues with that I reckon not but we can still check a little bit because I no, I didn't didn't think so so next thing that we're gonna do uh, we're gonna go to this uh, quality and we're gonna press better so we can still go again uh, and uh, play it uh, through that we're gonna see the quality uh, is changed or not yes it looks perfect so one more thing that we need to check here is we're gonna uh, increase basically the blur radius it's gonna be softer uh, we're gonna change the radius a little bit and one more thing that we need to do is right click uh, go to alpha add alpha output and just connect this square with a dot here this way we're gonna remove the background and let's jump back to edit page and let's play it through to see the effect looks really great so let's put it on full screen yeah, it really looks great and uh, that's it for today if you have any questions regarding this effect please let me know down in comments this is it for today 
uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, have a nice week and uh, see you next time. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other videos and tutorials as well. See you all next time. Have a good one.